Hello everyone, my name is Ross the Alcheminiaturist, and welcome to my Chaos Space Marines Bits Boy Build, aka the Twins. While I was unpacking my models, I found I was missing one. One of my Legionnaires from the Start Collecting Chaos Space Marines box was just gone. No note, no goodbye. Not in any of my other boxes either. As a hobbyist, I feel I'm not alone when I feel sadness when a model goes missing. Nor do I feel alone with the feeling of joy when I'm able to make a brand new model out of the bits in my boxes. Ready to jump into the army and take down enemies. Assembling and collecting the armies are two parts of this hobby that originally got me into this many years ago when I begged my parents for the third edition box set. When I went to England the next time, my mom made a special trip with me to Warhammer World, and I remember the sheer awe I felt, first walking through those doors, taking that tour, and an employee teaching me, for the first time, how to properly paint a Bretonian peasant archer. I cannot remember how long we sat there, just painting and talking, but after all this time, I still remember how happy I was. If I wasn't already desperately into the hobby, that was definitely the tipping point for me. I went back to my grandparents and begged them and my mum for more models, paints, glue, and everything I could need. I spent countless hours reading the lore of the then Lizardmen, making random heroes based off of movies, books, and my own imagination. After shedding some manly tears, I realized that parting is such sweet sorrow, but the best way to get over a model leaving is to get another one under construction and under construction, I got. After stressing a little bit, as I hate when things go missing, especially since I like to have everything in its place and nowhere else, I remembered that I bought new third-party legs. Originally, I had bought them for Fingy, but honestly, he can only have one set of legs and the pack came with six, so the other five were useless to him. I originally only grabbed one set of legs and the bits to build, but upon looking more closely at my bits, I found I had two torsos, so I decided to make two more. Why not? I have the bits, and if I have the bits, I'll have the models. And that's how I got the name, the twins, for these two, as they look so close to the same. With all the bits sourced and sorted from my chaos box of bits, I set upon a couple of the pieces to change the iconography from the Death Guard to at least neutral. My Emperor's Children Army is going to be from a custom homebrew warband called the Apostles of Decadence. Once I've written the lore, I'll share it, but until then, all I can say is that there will be a good host of demons alongside the Marines. I want an army of Chaos Space Marines of at least 2,000 points before the new Codex comes out, so I have to get on that pretty quickly. Yes, that might be a spoiler for what is to come, but I won't tell if you won't. I noticed that the box for the Start Collecting Chaos Space Marines had a heavy weapons guide, so I figured I should have at least one of those. Heavy Bolter it is. In all actuality, I couldn't find the corresponding backpacks for the other heavy weapons, so I had to use that one. If it comes out that I can't or shouldn't have the heavy weapons guy with the Legionnaires, I'll have them go to the Havocs, as the more firepower I have, the better. I scored all the pieces of resin so that they would adhere to the plastic much better and set to work putting super glue on at least two connection points at each time. I used the very cheap dollar store super glue and it is the gel, not the liquid. And I found that doing it this way has the glue starting to cure when I get to the second connection and it sticks much faster. I know of the baking soda and super glue trick, but I have yet to try it as it seems like I need to make sure I'm using the liquid glue and not the gel. I'm a hoarder of all the bits I can get a hold of, as I don't like the idea of what if I could use this down the line. And it's come in handy before, and it came in handy today. I'd need to wait for more bits to come in if I didn't keep everything. My close favorite local game store has apparently a bit swap event in the summer, and I plan on clearing them out. I can't tell you where because I want the bits, and I don't want to share. Bases are a rarity in my house, and neither of the game stores I've been to have a decent selection of bases that I need to pick up, Games Workshop or otherwise. I primed the twins with AK's black primer through the airbrush and set them with the rest of my Apostles of Decadence. Don't worry, I don't like leaving a project unfinished, however, that's a future Ross's problem. 